This is a basic getting started tutorial in which you will learn how to use the PWM pulse fit modulation using Node MCU SV826 Wi-Fi module to control the LED brightness using the blink application and a variable resistor. For the demonstration purposes, I'm using an LED which is connected with one of the PWM pins of the Node MCU SV826 Wi-Fi module. But if you want, you can also connect a DC motor. The LED brightness can be controlled using a slider from anywhere around the world as this small project is based on the IoT technology. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBA company, which is one of the most experienced PCB and PCB assembly manufacturer. They create high quality PCBs at reasonable prices. The Gerber files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. If the GIF control button is turned on, then the user won't be able to control the brightness using the potentiometer. While the button is turned on, the LED brightness can also be controlled using the slider. The control between the slider and potentiometer is shifted using the on-screen button. In this tutorial, we will cover number one. What are the PWM pins in the Node MCU HP8266 Wi-Fi module? Number 2. Circuit diagram explanation. Number 3. Blink application designing. Number 4. Node MCU HP8266 Wi-Fi module PWM programming. And finally, number 5. Testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Just like the Arduino Uno, Node MCU ASP826655 module also has the PWM pins. The digital pins D0 to D10 can also be used as the PWM pins which can be confirmed by opening the blink application. You can use any of these pins for controlling the LED brightness or for controlling the motor speed. As you can see the circuit diagram is very simple. An LED is connected with the digital pin D4 which is the GPIO pin 2 and is also the PWM pin. A push button is connected with the digital pin D0 of the Node MCU HP8266 Wi-Fi module and is used to turn off the LED. The middle leg of the variable resistor or potentiometer is connected with the analog pin is 0 of the Node MCU module, while the other two legs of the variable resistor are connected with 3.3 volts and ground. On the left side is the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. This power supply is used to power up the Node MCU HP8266 Wi Fi module. J1 is the female power jack, and this is where we connect the input power supply which can be a 12 volts adopter, a 12 volts battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. The capacitor on the output side of the voltage regulator is really important. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. A wire from the output of the voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the Node MCU module while the ground of the power supply is connected with the ground of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Finally, SV1 and SV2 are the female headers. I connected everything as per the circuit diagram. Now let's make the blink application follow the same exact steps.
you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website, electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. This is the authentication token which was sent via email while making the Blink application. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. Then I defined a timer. I defined a pin for the LED which is the GPIO pin 2 and is the PWM pin. I selected the pin name as the solid state underscore relay because later I will use the same project for controlling the brightness of a 110 or 220 volt AC light bulb using the solid state relay. A push button is connected with a digital pin D0. Then I defined variables for implementing the timer so that I can count the seconds. The potential meter or variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The value coming from the potential meter is stored in the variable VR value. Inside the white slip function, first of all I activated the serial communication using the serial.begin function and selected 115200 is the baud rate. I will only use this for the debugging purposes. Then I activated the blink using the blink.begin function which takes three arguments as the input, the authorization token code, the Wi-Fi router name and the password. Then using the pen mode function I set the push button and variable resistor as the input while the solid state underscore relay which is the PWM pin is set as the output. The read VR and read button are the user defined functions and are executed after every one second. These functions are used to read the variable resistor and to check if the push button is pressed or not. Inside the white loop function, I'm only using two functions which are the timer.run and blink.run functions. As I said earlier, read VR function is a user defined function. It has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. The purpose of this function is to read the variable resistor and then control the LED brightness. This condition means if the button on the blink app is turned off then read the variable resistor using the analog read function and store the value in variable VR value. The following if condition means if the value is less than 5 then assign a value of 0 to the VR value variable. Now for implementing the pulse width modulation we use the analog write function. Read button function is a user defined function. It has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. This if condition means if the button is not pressed then make seconds equal to zero. This if condition means if the button is pressed then start counting the seconds. If the seconds are greater than or equal to zero then simply turn on or turn off the LED depending on its current state. So that's all about the programming. The circuit diagram, programming and libraries can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching. Thank you.